Yes, yes, but I speak a bit later on when we're dealing with hands. At the moment, I'm just delivering the lesson.
in, in the first example, Ellie, respond with two hearts to start with. So when they've got a slow three diamonds, they've obviously still got a red two suitor. Whereas in the second example, they haven't mentioned hearts, so now it's just diamonds. Anybody else got any questions or comments? If their suit here, Sanya, wasn't clubs, um, you'd have to rejig the hand a bit. But if it wasn't clubs, then you could start bringing in a cubid of their suit, perhaps, if you weren't playing this business of cubids of their suit being game forcing in spades. If you are, then I think you just have to go with what I've just said, which is a fast three diamonds. Which, which implies, yes, you could, you, could, you could make a negative double here. That's open-ended and not really part of Levensol. Um, you could certainly put a negative double over two clubs. But if you wanted to use Levensol, you know, a Levensol style of sequence rather than just making a negative double, and, I mean, the hearts are pretty horrible. Um... I'm not sure I'd want to really mention the heart here, <laughs> which, the, which the negative double almost does. I'd more want to emphasise the diamonds and the spade tolerance uh, with a fast three diamonds. But you could make a negative double here. Um, but yeah, if their suit wasn't clubs and you weren't playing this business of um, cupids of their suit... Uh, being something else I mean OCP would play a cubit of clubs and you've only got a fast cubit available uh, a cubit of clubs as being gamma in spades that's how OCP plays it but if you're not playing that then um, yes okay so in, in the example you've just given there where they've overcalled two diamonds and you swapped, you basically swapped around your miners um, again, if you're playing OCP, then a cubit of three diamonds over two diamonds is gamma in spades. But if you're not playing OCP, then obviously that, that wouldn't apply. So now, um, you, you can play a cubit of diamonds, either slow or fast, 
as being game forcing in spades with or without uh, control of their diamond suit so here if you had say less good less good uh, hearts and better spade support um, you could make a slow cupid of diamonds to be game forcing in spades with a a control of their suit which is what you have um, but again the other thing over two diamonds is that you could bid three clubs a fast three clubs which shows the clubs implies a tolerance for um, for spades but probably something less than actual support for spades so something like ace x is perfect um, so the fast three club bid uh, would also match up here um, and would be forcing um, a fast bid at the three level a fast bid of a new suit at the three level is forcing um, so you could do any of those depending on what your agreements are okay anybody else got any questions before we have a look at a different example it does take time I, I'm trying not to give you hard and too many hard and fast rules here because every every situation every sequence is different and it, it does depend Uh, it depends on their hearts. But don't forget, partner's got a bid. If you bid three clubs over um, over two diamonds, you know, partner has a bid over three clubs. Uh, you know, they could bid three diamonds as a directional asking bid to ask if you've actually got a stop in diamonds. Um, you know you can then mention the hearts or or confirm the fact that you have got some spade tolerance um, indeed if you if he bids three diamonds as a directional asking bid and you now bid three spades that does imply that you're a little bit worried about uh, the hearts otherwise you'd probably just bid three n So don't forget, like I said, partner has a bid here over three clubs. But like I said before, uh, every sequence is different. And um, so, so I'm trying to give you more in the way of general guidelines rather than hard and fast rules. Um, because you, with competitive Levensol, you do have to think about all the ways that you could bid the hand and then try and pick the one that's the most accurate and hope that partners on the same wavelength because they will also think well they didn't bid that they bid this therefore they're emphasizing that feature of their hand um, as opposed to a different sequence which would perhaps show a slightly different picture but you are dealing with nuances here a lot of the time rather than specific things it's not like asking bid responses this um, a lot of it is, is dealing with implications and nuances rather than um, hard facts So, so far it's gone one diamond, one heart over call, one spade from partner, two hearts from your right hand opponent. <coughs> so, 
So that deals with with rebids of, of your diamond suit. Um, so the first one is is stronger and more encouraging, and and implies at least a partial fit for spades. Whereas a slow bid of three diamonds over their two heart bid um, implies no tolerance for spades, but longer, possibly longer diamonds. The other thing here, of course, is that if you're playing support doubles, uh, you could double two hearts to show three card spade support and um, a bid of spades would definitely be implying four card support for spades. Um, you may not have support doubles in your arsenal. Some people tend to fight shy of those. So now we're talking about not rebidding your diamonds but supporting partner spades. As I've said, you could double to show three card spade support um, and two spades would be just competitive but showing four card support for spades. A slow bit of three spades because you can compete at the two level is definitely invitational and a fast bit of three spades is more in the way of preemptive a preemptive bid um, so you're not necessarily showing a lot extra in the way of high card points but you're perhaps suggesting a shortage in hearts um, and decent spade support and again uh, you can use slow and fast bids of um, well you can't use a slow bid but you can use a, a fast queue of their heart suit to be game forcing in partner spades so three hearts by you over their two heart bid would be game forcing agreeing partner spades so you've got all the options here for agreeing partner suits you can compete you can preempt you can invite and you can force in partner spades and you can show three card support for spades and you can show a tolerance for spades but emphasize your diamonds by bidding a fast three diamonds <laughs> so a fast three no trumps um, over over their two heart bid is saying listen I've got long running diamonds but I don't have a good heart stop so partner can pass three no trumps if they have uh, some strength in hearts otherwise they're encouraged to rebid their spades he's not likely to to have bid with five five high card points Ellie, North made a free bid of one spade over their one heart bid. If they only had a five count, they wouldn't be bidding anything over one heart. Not likely, anyway. So, I, I would suggest that North is probably at least eight to ten. If they've, if they've got, you know five to seven high card points they're more likely to pass over one heart and then uh, come in afterwards there might be one spade with with you know if they have five or six spades there might be one spade with less but now they're prepared to just rebid their spades at the minimum level um, if they're not interested in going any further okay Yes, because they can double one heart if they've got four card spades. They can make a negative double. They can make a negative double over one heart if they've just got four card spades and want to show it. They don't have to bid 
the spade suit itself, they can just double. So yeah, one... Yeah, but... Okay, Ellie, what, what West has for their one heart overcall is a totally different issue. And that's nothing to do with us. You know, they, they will have their own methods, their own criteria for whether they bid one heart or not. And, and you know, people have wildly different criteria for, for overcalls. Um, I, I personally wouldn't start making a simple overcall on a five count. If I had six card hearts, I might make a jump over call, a weak jump over call. Um, but I'm unlikely to come in with a, you know, a, a five card heart suit that's almost by definition is going to be fairly weak on a five count. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments? Okay, back to the hand there. Um, so, a fast three no trumps um, is probably with long running diamonds, but no heart stops. So, partner can pass three no trumps if they've got something in hearts, but otherwise they'll convert to diamonds or maybe insist on their spades. Similarly, a slow bid of three no trumps is also showing a strongish hand, but is now promising. Um, reasonable heart values as well, certainly a, a good stop, um, given that ops have bid and supported the suit. So now here we have the, the slow cubid of their hearts or a fast cubit of their hearts. Um, but this time, we've just supported their spades, partner spade showing uh, four card spade support, presumably if we're playing support doubles. And now partners made a fast cubit of their hearts. So that's game forcing in spades but denying first or second round control of, of their heart suit. And if they made a slow cubid of hearts, this would be the same, i.e. game forcing raise in spades, but uh, promising first or second round control of hearts. And like I said, if, if, they, if they're promising first round, first or second round control, then it's definitely slam invitational. Otherwise, they could just bid four spades. Um, if, they, if they were denying first or second round control, it might still be vaguely slam invitational. Um, but it would be depending on whether we could supply the control of their suit. Anybody got any questions? In fact, just widen that. Anybody got any questions on competitive bidding generally or competitive Levensol specifically? Anything that we've covered over the last couple of weeks? Last three weeks, in fact. So including unassuming cubids, overcalls, two suited overcalls like Michael's unusual no trump, guest them. Anybody got any questions? Because if not, we're just going to practice some hands. So better if you're an established pair because then you, 
you don't, you don't have to start agreeing lots of stuff in discussion to start with. But can I have four victims to play, please? You don't have to be playing precision here. Uh, you can be playing whatever system you like. But like I said, probably best if you're going to sit down opposite somebody that, that you don't have to spend a lot of time agreeing a system and agreeing defences and stuff. So established pairs would be better, but not essential. I'd rather have four complete strangers than nobody at all, for example. Come on, guys. Time is money. We've got an hour and a quarter to practice some hands. If you're playing OCP, it doesn't matter. Okay, somebody for West, please. Come on, Michael, get your uh, get your feet wet for once. Thank you, good man. Nice to see. Okay. Um, no, not this hand, um, Barry. You've all seen the cards here. It's no fun. Okay, so Roger's two hearts is just competitive. Um, in fact, it's almost certainly just preemptive, really. So again, at this stage, West is just competing. There's no sense of invitation here in the two spade bed. Barry gets to the lemon soul bid first. If you've got both pairs playing competitive lemon soul, very often it's a battle to uh, who gets to bid two no trumps first. Because here, West could have bid two no trumps, North could, and uh, if North had just passed two spades, then potentially Esther could have bid two no trumps as a 11 soul bid. Okay, let's have a lead, Roger.
Okay, claim um, 11 tricks, Esther. Or whatever. Just claim, anyway, there's nothing in the play here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what I was going to say here, Michael, is that at the end of the day, you've got a nice, a nice nine count, albeit with two jacks, but you've got three card spade support and a crucial singleton in their suit. I think I would be probably over two hearts. No, I don't think you need to worry too much about that. Um, I would be thinking in terms of a slow three spades over two hearts. Um, I over two hearts, I'd be bidding two no trumps, eleven sol, asking partner to bid three clubs, and then I would bid three spades. Because I can compete with two spades, the slow three spades is definitely invitational. It's not forcing, but it's invitational. And I think invitational hand is what you've got. You've got control of their hearts. You've got the ability to rough their hearts. Um, you've got control of the clubs. I think you're worth more than, than two spades, that's all. And I think if you bid a slow three spades, East is going to bid four in a heartbeat. Because they've got a nice hand. And they know. Don't forget, East will know from their own hand that you're going to be short in hearts. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments? Worth noting here that over North's 2 no trump bid, asking partner to bid three clubs, Esther bid three spades in front of South, and so South automatically passes over three spades um, to wait and see what partner's going to have to say. And since it's clear when North passes three spades that they were only going to compete in hearts um, that's fine I mean it's the last bit of the auction anyway but clearly they don't want to compete any further than the three level ok next one
you with us, Roger? I don't think four clubs could be lots of things here, Esther, but non-forcing is not one of them. Here, four clubs might be a, a splinter, it might be beta, it might be lots of things, but it's definitely forcing. I think even three clubs will be forcing. Even three clubs will be forcing here, Esther. Okay, go on, let's play this one out. Well, yeah, I, I think we'll just play this hand out and then we'll discuss it afterwards because I think there's some implications here that have been missed in the bidding. Um, and there's some pointers, especially if you're playing OCP, there are some pointers for how the bidding ought to proceed. I think that's unrealistic, Michael. Um, again, we'll discuss it afterwards. Just play the hand out and then we'll discuss it.
Oops. I think uh, Esther's scored an own goal here. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, the hand is absolutely cold for 12 tricks. Um, Esther just has to remember not to draw a third round of with trumps, which means she can rough West Dummy's third diamond, third losing diamond. Um, presumably you just forgot to count trumps, did you, Esther? Certainly no need to draw a third round of trumps. Um, okay, back to the bidding. I think what West has to bear in mind here is that their double is forcing East to bid. And so one spade is notionally showing a hand that's only got probably 0 to 7 high card points. With 8 plus they would certainly be bidding two spades. Okay, the, the two diamond bid is some kind of a strong cue. Um, and now East has said two hearts, which implies that they're probably 5 4 in the majors. Um, the bid that I disagree with urgently is the four club bid here because West has alerted it as beta and you could agree that it's beta here hmm. but the trouble is is that don't forget you've got a 20 count here and south has opened one diamond. So that doesn't leave many points left. There's not many points left in the pack for east. If, uh, if east got both major suit kings, then there's going to be some gaps elsewhere in diamonds and clubs. Um... But the, the main thing is that four clubs is, is potentially ambiguous. It could be a, a splinter in diamonds, agreeing probably hearts. Or it could be beta. But if you haven't... Ag no, it can't... One thing it cannot possibly be, Sanya, is a sign-off. It cannot be a sign-off here. Sorry, this is not an asking bid sequence. You know, where we've had all sorts of questions and suddenly um, Asker is jump-shifted into a new suit that they hadn't mentioned as chumps before. This is not that kind of a situation.
East could indeed have Barry's hand. Um, the thing is, if you if you if you feel, and again, it's down to what you play. Um, this business of of a cubit of their suit being game forcing in partner's suit, then two diamonds is game forcing a green partner's spades. Because it's a a sort of fast cubit of, of their suit. Because we have to we have to assume that diamonds is natural. Right. If that's the case then you have to trust partner. You could just bid two spades over two hearts and it's still game forcing because you could have just bid two spades over one spade if you didn't have a monster of a hand. So I think, I, I mean personally I would um, Yeah, absolutely Charlene. If, uh, if East has an eight count they ought to double. They ought to jump. Just to show, you know, eight plus high card points. I would say exactly as it is up to two hearts. Then West ought to just bid two spades because two diamonds was game forcing. Right, but you... The thing is, if you agree the spades, Michael, explicitly with two spades, it's still forcing East can't pass two spades over two hearts. But you're now explicitly agreeing spades. Now East is just going to bid four spades because they have absolutely no interest in going further than that. They can't pass it because two diamonds was game forcing. So now East would bid four spades showing no wish to go further. Now you might bid five clubs as a cubid. Now they can bid five diamonds without any problem. East can bid five diamonds. And now you can probably bid six spades. But the thing is, beta is a bit of an illusion because you know that East has got a weak hand here because they only bid one spade over your double. So they're not sat there with an 8 to 10 count. No way. If you decide to just pass four spades, then that's fine. In practice, you know that almost all of the outstanding high card points are going to be in the south hand. So the major suit finesses, if you need it, are going to be right. The only worry in your hand is the diamond suit, really. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments? Well, there's no question. Six spades is a good contract to be in here, given the bidding. Well, I mean, that's why... No, Michael, don't apologise. These, these things, you know, these hands are are meant to test you, they're meant to to bring out things you know, and, and these aren't necessarily easy hands um, but the thing is, you have to trust partner if, if you're playing two diamonds as game forcing agreeing spades, which what I've said is, is that it ought to be then, then a two spade bid over two hearts is quite sufficient because two diamonds is game forcing and you have to to trust that partner will think of it as being game forcing, agreeing spades. There's no need to leap to four clubs. And the you know the message from four spades over two spades would be totally clear that the East doesn't have much in the way of high card points at all. Okay, next hand. If anybody else wants to sit, by the way, we'll we'll 
shift the uh, the players around a bit after four boards. So if anybody else wants to sit and play a few hands, just let me know, please. We can hear the cogs working here, Roger. Oh, Esther, come on. Vulnerable against not. Your hand's not that good. Okay, just stop there a minute, uh, Barry, before you bid. So here, South has made a slow cue bid of East's heart suit. So that's game forcing in clubs, which is partner's suit. Okay, so, so three hearts is game forcing and agreeing clubs as trumps. It's not asking about hearts. It's not doing anything like that. It's, it's 
and I'm not saying that three no trumps is wrong, three no trumps is fine um, as a bid. Uh, the question is, what should South be doing now over three no trumps? And I think four clubs is perhaps a mistake because three no trumps implies that North has got a decent holding in hearts um, and is perhaps not totally interested in a slam at this stage. So I think South is better off taking the bull by the horns and actually bidding four diamonds over three no trumps which is going to be beta, definitely. That's definitely taking control of the hand um, rather than leaving it up to north. Four diamonds here has to be beta. Um, we've agreed clubs as trumps and therefore four diamonds is almost automatically beta. This is a nice hand, actually. I like this hand. <laughs> You're right. It is, in, it is discouraging, Roger. But don't forget, North bid two clubs over one spade. Okay, so we've, we've agreed clubs and we've had a high beta. So this is Epsilon. I mean, the other way you could play this, and it, it does depend on... your agreements but given the slow three hearts I think we have to allow that south is definitely going to be maximum with good controls um, you could play that four diamonds is a cubid rather than um, beta in which case you could just be cubiding here but uh, I think given the game forcing Q of three hearts I think we can allow that this is going to be epsilon beta and then epsilon Okay, again, let's play this one out.
Okay, nicely played, uh, Barry. In practice, the bidding suggests almost for certain that the uh, the diamond and spade kings are going to be on side, um, vulnerable against not. Uh, East will surely have a 10 or an 11 count for their two heart bid, especially given that they've only got six card hearts. So there's not much room for West to have anything here. Okay, so lots of ways that you... Yes, absolutely. Michael, um, the, the issue, normally we suggest that um, because openers opening is limited, that we normally don't allow opener to use beta in this kind of a situation. It's got to come from responder who is unlimited. So in, in a different kind of a sequence, um, four diamonds would definitely be a, a cubid in support of clubs rather than beta. However, here we've had the slow cubit of hearts by south already, which is game forcing and agreeing clubs as trumps. Um, and moreover, north has backed off a little bit uh, and shown heart values, and south has still persisted over three no trumps by bidding four diamonds. So I think we have to allow, in this instance, that actually four diamonds can be beta. If you want to have a partnership agreement that it's not, and that it's still a cubid, then that's fine. You can cubid your way up to six clubs, knowing that, that like I said, any finesses that you need to take are going to be um, on side almost for certain. Uh, given that South, sorry, North has bid two clubs over um, one spade, the chances are that they are um, probably 12 plus, and uh, it's quite difficult to construct a hand where you're going to make a two over one bid over one spade where you don't have at least two controls. Um, because you need to have about a 12 count to be bidding two clubs. Um, so I think although it's although it's not to two four hearts, I think you can take it that it will be two controls. The normal scale, because um, their, their exact strength is not known. Okay. So four hearts is showing naught to two controls. No reason to use the weak scale or the strong scale. Anybody else got any questions about this? You notice I, I dissuaded East from rebidding three hearts. At this vulnerability, I think that would be lunacy. Three hearts is going for about f minus 1,400 or something ridiculous. Um, No, it can't be, it, it's, it, four hearts can't be a repeat beater. It, because Ellie, because that isn't what it shows. It's, it's a game forcing cubid. It's a game forcing, it's a game forcing cubid, agreeing clubs and showing, promising first or second round control of hearts. That's what three hearts shows, the slow three hearts. No, 4H is a response to beta. Four diamonds was beta. Four hearts was, was a response to beta, not a repeat beta. Uh, because there's no such thing as a repeat beater. Simple as that, Michael. There is no such animal. You, you only get one shot at beater here. Because North hasn't shown a shortage. 
if North had shown a spade shortage somehow, then you could potentially have another beta in four spades. But otherwise, it's epsilon. Any other questions, comments, queries? Okay, one more, and then if anybody else wants to sit, we'll, we'll find somebody who's happy to stand. But otherwise, the four that uh, are playing at the moment can just carry on playing if nobody else wants to sit. Just think back to what I said before, Roger. There's a, a nice obvious bid here. Okay, so three spades was a game forcing cue, game forcing a green diamonds, but denying control of of spades. There's actually a number of ways that South could have bid here.
Well, we'll not accept it, Barry. But, well, we will accept it, but actually you're going one off here because the diamonds are 5 nil. Just claim minus one. <laughs> well, there's lessons for the bidding here, funnily enough. The trouble is, you're in the wrong contract. You need to be in six clubs by south. Um, six club by south is undefeatable. Um, I said there were various ways that, that this hand could be bid by south. Personally, over two spades, I bid a fast three clubs by south. Um, I don't think your South Diamonds are initially good enough to really want to be in a game-forcing auction agreeing the suit. I'd rather show the clubs and imply the diamond, the good time and tolerance with a fast three clubs. Now partner bids four clubs and you're away to the races but you end up in the right contract played from the right hand. Um, you don't want to be in, in five clubs by north because you're vulnerable to an opening diamond rough, as it happens. The other thing to note, and it was well done by, by Barry here, is that... Uh, Unusual no trump, not on the menu because north is intermediate. So two diamonds was absolutely right rather than two no trumps over one spade because uh, north is 11 to 15 and therefore they're better off just over calling. Um, if north bids two no trumps it's much more difficult for, for south to bid. Um, because they're going to assume that North is weak. Well, not when six diamonds is... No, yeah. Maybe so. Um, the other thing is worth considering, if you're playing OCP, uh, personally I would be considering opening the west hand with one club, not one spade. 6-5 with all the points in the long suits has a, an enormous amount of playing strength here. Um, I'd be thinking about one club on the west hand there. Uh, but one spade's okay. Anybody else got any questions? The other thing is, given the bidding the way that it went, i.e. the fast queue of, of uh, spades, over four spades, I would be thinking, clearly partner doesn't have a lot in spades. They might have two or three in the suit, but they haven't got much in the way of honour strength. If they've got a game-forcing bid, a game-forcing hand... Um, we probably have most of the rest of the hand, uh, the rest of the high card points, apart from the spades. I would be thinking in terms of bidding six clubs over four spades, or four no trumps, to, to imply the minor two suitor or in the case of six clubs, to explicitly show the minor two suitor and give partner a choice as to where to play. Um, I think five diamonds is a little bit... It's, it's completely hiding the club suit. Um, so four no trumps implies the club suit, six clubs, or even five clubs, um, definitely shows the club suit. 
Uh, but given the void in spades, that's likely to be one of the key factors in the hand. Um, so I'd be thinking in terms of six clubs uh, over four spades. And I think the implication of that is unmistakable. And, and South would have no problems passing six clubs, even though they notionally agreed diamonds with the three spade bit. Okay, anybody else want to sit and play a few hands? Um, please don't be shy. You, you, you learn by, by practicing these bids and these situations. You, you don't learn as much by sitting watching other people play. But if nobody else wants to sit, we'll just play some more. Okay. Go on, Esther, go for it. No, because it's not a jump. So, so two no trumps is eleven sol here. Um, over one spade, two no trumps would be the sixteen plus inquiry. But over two spades, it isn't because it's not a jump. I think uh Well, you have to decide. Don't forget a fast new suit at the three level here, Roger, is forcing. That's where my money would be, I think. Okay, so three hearts is forcing. It doesn't really say anything about your spades at all, three hearts. Ho, ho. Yes, well, I was just, I was just going to say that's the danger of five diamonds. You see, that, that five diamond bid is indistinguishable from a hand with heart support and a spade shortage. 
because the one diamond bid doesn't have to be showing diamonds. Well, that's what I would be bidding with the north hand. I would be bidding three spades over three hearts. And that would be a directional asking bid. So I think, Barry, I think three spades here is, is probably better. Because you're not given the three heart bid from south you're not unhappy playing this in three no trumps I think south is probably a little bit wary and three spades of course might be a cubid an advanced cubid wanting to agree hearts. So I think South can just describe their hand further here. Yeah, I'm not sure. South could bid three no trumps, but I'd be a little bit wary of it. I don't think South spades are good enough. So don't forget, four diamonds is, is definitely a four diamonds is definitely a suit um, because North hasn't actually shown us a diamond suit yet. Okay, there's nothing much in the play here. Um, I think just, just claim your 12 tricks, Barry. Okay, only thing I would say on the bidding here, I, um, I think five diamonds by north is a little bit weak. Effectively, when partner, when south bids four diamonds they're suggesting that they don't have a lot of wasted space, uh, strength in spades. Um, and with a, a guaranteed 11 card uh, diamond fit, and I know the void in hearts is not necessarily a, a good thing from North's hand, but I think I'd be bidding six diamonds over four diamonds rather than just five diamonds. If... Uh, given that, that South bid three hearts, which is forcing. Um, they must have a reasonably good hand. Um, I think leaving it up to South to bid six diamonds is, is maybe a little bit pusillanimous, I think is the, uh, the expression I was looking for. Um, but it's okay. I mean, South's got a nice hand. Uh, and you got to the right contract, so who am I to complain? Anybody else got any questions or comments about the bidding here? 
So three hearts was forcing and natural. <coughs> uh, I don't think so, no. Charlene, sorry. Uh, competitive love and soul, uh, it's just too, there's just too many things. We'd, we'd have to be alerting almost every single bid and there just isn't the space. Um, the FD cards are near the limit of um, the space that's allowed. Um, they can't be more than one megabyte big, and they're all about 800, 900k big already. Uh, we couldn't possibly um, fit all... Absolutely. And I mean, to be honest with you, that's what you should be doing anyway, once you've learnt the system. The FD cards primarily are to help you to learn the system. Once, you, once you've learnt the system... <laughs> well, I wasn't going to go that far, Joe, but yes, if you go that far, yes. Contemptible timidity. That's marvellous. I, don't, I wouldn't have said contemptible. I just think, I just think, Norse. If South, if South can make a free bid of diamonds and introduce a diamond suit at the four level, um, I think South is sorry. North is worth six diamonds here. It is marvellous description. I love it. Contemptible timidity is superb. Okay, um, why not Joe is my question. Um, okay, next hand. But North South haven't agreed a defence to one no Trump. Playing Brosel, Roger. I think two clubs is the bid here. Okay, so now we've got transfer eleven soul. Whoa, hey. Okay, so this is a transfer to spades.
Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in the bidding in the play here. I think just claim eleven tricks, Esther. North South can actually take three tricks, but they need to do them at trick one. Find the diamond rough. Esther, just claim 11, please. All right. Okay. Um, possibly here, West could bid four diamonds over three spades um, to show their second suit. Uh, You can make four spades, you can make five diamonds. Um, what you can't make is five spades if uh, north south find the diamond rough. But either's good. So, nothing wrong with, with four spades by west, but I would tend to give. Easter choice by bidding four diamonds because um, they don't have to have spade support and at the end of the day West only has ace jack ten to five A partner could be sat there with two small spades um, for all you know so I don't disagree with three hearts um, West hands nice with the king x of hearts and the stiff ace of clubs and it's got you know, a fair amount of playing strength with the two five-card suits. Um, so no problem with three hearts, uh, but I would tend to give partner a choice with four diamonds over three spades. Okay, any other questions, comments? One more hand and then I think we'd better call it a night. No, I think he has to bid three spades. He's not allowed to to break the transfer. Um, bearing in mind that partner can be weak for three hearts. Um, actually, no, he can't. Sorry, he can't be weak. Three hearts is always going to be strong here because he can bid two spades. But uh, there's no real scope for East to break the transfer um, except through strength. Um, so three no trumps instead of three spades. You do as it happens, Barry, yes? Yes, you can break it with a super except, and, and given that three hearts here is at least strongly invitational, the implication actually is that East should accept the invitation uh, if they have a suitable hand. Um, in practice, their minimum, they don't have good controls. They don't have uh, control of the heart suit. So I think three spades is fine. Um, but I would still give East a choice with four diamonds and now he spids four spades, and that's fine. Um, and yes, North South do have quite a good sack here, but uh, tough one to bid, even at that vulnerability. Uh, what did he lie? What would be two hearts in this auction? Um... Whoo! Fast Cupid of Hearts. Um, shows four card spades. Um, 
it would basically be stay manic. Denying, denying a heart stop and stay manic with four spades and gain values. A fast three clubs by West would be promising a heart stop, showing four card spades, denying a club stop. So neither of those really fits the West's hand here. Um, three hearts, the fast transfer into spades is the one that fits the bill. Okay. Right, last one, and then I think we better call it a night. No problem, Ellie. It's not. Okay, as to claim your nine tricks, because that's what you're likely to get here. <sighs> you 
you're not certain to get nine tricks. I think, actually, expert defense can probably defeat three no trumps. The only thing I would say here is that, uh, primarily, no trump bidding with balanced hands tends to be about arithmetic. Uh, I'm going to be running a practice tomorrow, LES, and it'll be more hands like this. Um, I've got about another 24 in the bank. Um, so yeah, 10 p.m. tomorrow night uh, in IAC is another practice. So going back to this hand, um, no trump bidding tends to be primarily about arithmetic. Uh, personally, with the east hand here, I double and then bid two no trumps um, to show 19 plus. Um, yes, 5 p.m. New York time, Roger. Uh, two no trumps, two no trumps over two clubs shows 16 to 18 balance, and East has a nice 19 count. Um, so, yes, you're not you're not guaranteed to make. Um, not guaranteed to make three no trumps. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, but in practice, it's likely that you will. Um, North has to hold up the ace of diamonds twice. Um, and even then, actually... East can make it if they play it well, probably. Anyway, um, well, I think double and then bidding no trumps at least shows your strength, Esther. You have to think, what is, what is West going to do with a six count? That has to be what you're thinking about. And they're not going to disturb two no trumps, but if you double and then bid two no trumps, they'll probably end up bidding three. Um... And like I said, you, you're not guaranteed to make three no trumps here, but it's a it's a pretty good contract. Since again, North has to have pretty much everything that East West don't have. There's not much left in the pack in the pack for uh, for South here, given that North has opened two clubs. Um, anyway, thank you all. Thanks to the players. Um, uh, and as we've just discussed practice again in IAC tomorrow at 10 o'clock same time um, practicing the same hands generally uh, I've got loads more you're welcome ok night all see you, see you tomorrow bye ok bye